Gold is the perfect hedge against inflation. At a time when people are struggling with the cost of living, social media influencers are promoting gold as a safe bet. But sometimes it's not that simple. People in Montreal's North End are reporting a resurgence in an age-old scheme. A couple with a young child asking for help in exchange for gold, or straight up selling you jewelry for a deal you can't resist. Only to find out later they were fake. <laughs> Sabrina Brun Ornieri says her partner lost $1,000 to the scammers. Since there was a child, I think it, he assumed that it would be a safe situation, that they wouldn't be lying and using their child to scam people. But what Ornieri finds most troubling is that scammers fitting the exact same description approach her 87-year-old grandmother a year later. Only this time, it was a bait and switch. Dove è una Rosina Onieri says a woman in the passenger seat of a luxury SUV stopped her in the street and asked her where the pharmacy was. She says then the woman told her it was her birthday and wanted to give her a gift. Onieri says it all happened so fast. She turned down the gift, but in a swift movement, the woman got near her and then left. She later realized that her own gold chain, one of her most prized possessions, was gone. They took the photo of my son who died. It was in the necklace, she says. She always carried it with her. When Onieri posted on social media warning people about the scammers, many responded with similar experiences. CBC spoke with another family whose grandmother was robbed in a similar way in the same neighborhood. This detective with Ontario Provincial Police works as a liaison officer with the Canadian Anti-Fraud Centre. He says authorities have known about this type of fraud for years and they found that different groups of scammers come from Europe and then travel through Canada. Just like anything else in, in uh, fraud, uh, it's whack-a-mole. These people will basically go back to Europe, um, legally change their name because they've been removed from Canada and come in with a new name. A jewelry appraiser in Winnipeg says he's met several people who have also fallen victim to the scam. I had one customer, they had sold him uh, fake gold bars, uh, a whole bunch of rings. When I put it on my scale, I said, you have about $50,000 worth of just scrap gold here. If it was legitimate, it was basically worthless and he paid, I think, between three and four thousand dollars. Montreal police have arrested two people who are now facing charges related to theft. They say the suspects approached people from rental cars, mostly seniors, and then came up with excuses to get near them or even inside their homes to take their gold and leave fake ones behind. Police can't confirm whether the arrests have anything to do with the families I spoke to, but they expect there are other victims and they're hoping they'll come forward.